Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Nice Stain Gamers, and welcome back to another Workshop Spotlight. This time we're taking a look at the absolutely amazing spaceport by A1 Otero, and I have to say, the detail that he's put into this, this crash ships, these things going off in the distance, it's just so beautiful, and we're on the Mars-like planet. So first off, I'm going to show you where we spawn. We spawn at this, like, little hidden out bunker here, and I'm guessing this is some sort of bandit's hideout or maybe a scrapyard. We've got broken down engine parts at the front gate. We've got some cargo containers. Just look how we support some of these areas with the broken down blocks there's just so much detail in this and this is all completely vanilla so we've got a hover bike here and we've got a hover bike that looks like it's working on or being repaired there to the left and some other different components there you just have to imagine and use your imagination for what they could actually be so as we head further into this area we've got some more storage that's been crates piled within this sort of staircase area just, just crazy and something i really like to actually have a look at here this is like a little stacker truck or something he's built a little yellow one he's got like a pin there so you can imagine pushing it along there in a commute computer screen We've also got some semi-built engine components, just really nice detailing. There's a load, uh, load more supplies actually stacked up on here as well. Just really cool to have a look at and using your imagination as well as his to build each one of them components. And as you come in here, we've got some more storage as well as the seat and the area that we actually started in. So there's no signal. I guess this is some message log area where you would do your today's log and stuff. But anyway, let's have a look at the rest of the village itself. There's just so much to look around. I hope we can cover it all. So as we actually come up into this area, we've got one of the first wrecked ships. So this wrecked ship looks like it's been heavily scavenged. It's been here for quite some time. We've got some components that have broken off the bat there. Some rear engine bay that's been starting to be cut down and break off the supplies. And you've just got to use your imagination. This could have been the first ship maybe here to drop off supplies and it came into some trouble. Now they're just using it as scrap. There's also another crash ship over here. So we'll have a look at the outer perimeter. And what's quite cool about this one, it has like these little piston things. It looks like they're holding it up above the canyon. And you can see how he's detailed the path through the canyon there below so you've got the wreck ship you can just imagine driving in through here and this leads up to more wreckage in other areas just this detail just all over the place it's amazing so as you come through this path underneath this rickety ship that's crashed into the rock you actually enter into the main spaceport if we come around this next corner so here we are into the next spaceport another wrecked ship so you can imagine maybe a few different people have crashed here and over time they've virtually become a settlement so i just think this is a crash ship i don't think there's actually any way in here you see the detailing that's actually put he's got supplies that have broken and fallen out the cargo bay in here also access to the core of the ship as well so we can go in a little bit here but still it's mostly been buried and covered in dust for the time it's been sat here just look at that it's so beautiful Let's head over to the introductory area to the spaceport. You can see there's some more sunken parts. We've got some pipes. We'll actually tuck through the ground to have a look what we've got here. So just some more sunken areas just to just add a little bit of detail into the creation itself. And here we are, the spaceport. So let's actually have a quick look around here. We've got these really cool little pillar things that look like something from Star Wars. One, two, and three. I guess these are some sort of storage devices. Oxygen storage, perhaps. And we've got a scrapyard over here as well as like a radar array. So we'll try to cover it in a circular sort of motion. So the radar array up here. Look how we use this little bubble thing to create the base of the tower as well as the batteries charging. That just really nice bit of detail. But A1 or Terra is always doing his projects with the cut down blocks. It just looks amazing. So we're here over at the scrapyard. Frame rate is dropping down a little bit more. So we've got another crash ship there, possibly as like the scrapyard sort of owner's hangout place. So we've got a few huts here. So we've got broken down variety of different ships that have been broken down and deteriorated. Just have a look at some of the detail on these, how these have been cut apart. So you can see this one, the whole rear area has just been broken down, taken apart. And there's just scrap little pieces working around here. Just all, it's just so amazing how he's just spent so much time placing each one of these blocks in these areas and the amount of different ships. So this looks like it's come off some sort of rover or something. And there's even a mining ship that's been broken down there. So let's have a look in one of these little huts as we work our way around here. We've got like a little carrying vehicle. It's got some supplies on the back of it there. So heading into one of these huts, it looks like quite a simple sort of home. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. They've got like storage racks up above for compartments and components. Maybe a sleeping rack up there. Two sleeping racks down there and another storage area or even an engine. Some loose components there. Let's have a look in another house, see if they're actually different or they've been made up in a similar sort of composition. So as we took into here, this is actually looking like a med bay. Look at that window and desk area out there. It's so detailed. There's so much talent and effort and gone into each one of the design of these little huts. We've got another one of them little storage carts. This one with batteries actually being pushed around on it. We'll head into this little hut. We can see this hut's a little bit smaller. What have we got anything to the left and right? So this looks like it's just an oxygen room with a few beds perhaps. So we'll tuck into this area and we'll go into one of the larger buildings now. So this is the large spaceport to the rear. We've got some more of these little transport vehicles for shuffling supplies around, I'm guessing. There's loads of vehicles around this place though, little hover bikes and stuff. So if we go into here, you can see that we've got a variety of ships that have landed and parked. Look at that thing. 
That looks really cool. It's got some sort of staircase that looks like it's broken off it. We've got another fighter dock there. Components, spare parts, drills, grinders. Wow, there's so much detail. Let's have a look at this ship as well. So this ship's got these like descending little pods underneath and a ramp that leads into the hull. So this is going to be some sort of junk or carrying ship. Lots of supplies on both sides. I do apologize for the frame rate, but with Space Engineers, you've got to take into consideration all of these components together are causing quite a little bit of lag itself. But that ship is really nice. Just imagine wheeling a rover up into there. We'll have a look at that a little bit later on, I think. But we'll just dip out here. So into the spaceport, we've got this viewing dock area. There's so much to see. So in this viewing dock, we've got tables to sit as your ship maybe is getting repaired or you've got a new wave of supplies being unloaded. So cool. Let's do a quick cut through here. That's like a staircase downwards and so on. So we'll go back out through the window here and we'll work our way to another area. So that's the larger sort of space dock that's open to the air. Now we've got this that looks like the shield generator from Star Wars, but we'll actually go down there and have a quick look what it says it is. Energy center, so that makes sense. We've got like a blast door, mechanic sign. We've got a little bit of dust and debris that's been stacked up on the sides that I quite like. You can imagine the sand has blown in here and not been had time to maintain. Oh, another beautiful room. Battery cells that are half broken down. Supplies, little stack of truck things that look like they used to move around crates. It's just so detailed. This, there's so much time. This this must be hours and this weeks actually of work put into something like this. So each one of them pillars. And then we've got a little command control center there so we can control all the power and choose where it's going out to. So we'll come out there and we'll head into the final sort of hangar. This one's a little bit smaller. Look at that. I always put them little tanks on the side there just to add a little bit of detail. So we've got a smaller sort of fighter carrier ship here. Once again, loads of supplies, loads of barrels stuck around. So I'm guessing these are supposed to be like maybe fuel barrels, but I like the idea. I always put them on a pallet in that case. Spare tires, spare engines once again, and more stack of trucks to move around, and a little control center. Now what's down here? Let's have a quick look at what's down here. So we've got like an under base level. So it's like a garage or a hangar, maybe for more storage rovers. Oh, I love that. I love them stack of trucks. I love them, they're so beautiful. And into this area, what have we actually got here? We've got like a little seat and a control zone one. Oh, so it goes even further? This is so cool. Keeps going around, so it goes down here. I'm guessing it goes down another level. So we're now we're in some sort of massive underground spaceport with more vehicles. Mining machines? Oh my god, I'm losing my voice, this is so awesome. So let's cut through here and see what's into this next area. So this is control zone two. <coughs> Wow, even more stuff stored down here. So maybe this is being worked on a mine. So fuel center, danger, no smoking. And then in this direction, we've got like more storage, I think. There we go, beautiful. Some more crates and just so many parts that are put over there. It's amazing that space engineers can actually handle this with all these loose components roaming about. So cutting through here, control center, nice sort of gasoline tanks and another one of my favorite little buggy things, fuel tunnel. Let's have a look in the fuel tunnel, see what's through here. Oh, so it's just like a beautiful corridor with pipes going through it. Wow, this place is just so detailed. I wonder if he's wonder what inspired him to build this, or this is all just off the top of his head. Because this is crazy. So that's in, in information on the fuel pumps, I'm guessing. And that pumps it back up to the surface. So let's actually go through here. You know what we're going to quickly do is just have a quick look at the, the immense size of this place underground. So that would lead through to that area. Wow. So that leads back up to the secondary storage area. So there's quite a lot underground, surprisingly. So we've got another cargo area, another cargo room into there. Wow, just so much detail. Let's go back up to the surface and just have a quick overall evaluation. So we've got some larger huts over this side. We've got the scrap yard on that side and we've got all that underneath as well. Definitely worth checking this out on the workshop. Explore it for yourself and just see how ingeniously it's created such simple items out of the vanilla components. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.